Welcome to my chemistry lab. I'm Jeremy Krug and in today's video we're going to learn how to bend glass and cut glass and fire polish glass using a Bunsen burner. Now in order to do this of course you're going to need a Bunsen burner as well as a striker, a piece of glass, a steel uh, file, and a wire gauze to protect the lab surface. Now if you don't know how to use a Bunsen burner watch my other video on how to use a Bunsen burner in order to get acquainted with that. Now let me show you how we're going to cut the glass first. We're going to take the glass piece and using our steel file we're going to make a nice deep scratch in the spot where we want to cut the glass. So a nice deep scratch like this If you want to make another uh, scratch in that very same place, that's okay. Just to make sure it's a nice deep indention. And if you look closely at that, you'll see that we just have one scratch. I haven't been sawing on this in any uh, respect. We're just uh, made a nice deep scratch. And so now what I'll do is I'm going to hold this scratch away from me between my thumb and forefinger, just like this. And I'm going to snap it in half, just like you would snap a carrot in half. And we have a nice clean cut there. And so as you can see, the glass has been cut. Now, it's not the smoothest thing in the world, because if you run your finger over this, you'll notice it's a, it's a little bit sharp. In fact, we have you know, two pieces of glass, and both ends are rather sharp. So we're going to fire polish these pieces of glass so that they're nice and smooth. So to fire polish the piece of glass, I'm going to use my Bunsen burner flame. So just like we've always done, I'm going to turn the, the gas on and light the flame. And in order to do this, I need a very hot flame. So as you can see here, this is a very nice flame for this purpose because I have a, 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 a pale outer blue cone that is kind of hard to see. But then there's that nice neon blue inner cone that's very hot. That's the part of the flame I'm going to use to fire polish this. So if it's not the right temperature, you can adjust the temperature accordingly. This is making it cooler. Rotating the barrel like this makes it hotter. And now I'm going to fire polish the piece of glass. So here's the piece of glass that I just cut. I'm going to hold this in the flame right at the hottest part of the flame. I'm going to rotate it between my thumb and forefinger at about a 45 degree angle. And I'm rotating it around just gently. I don't want my fingers to get too close to the flame, of course, but this is a safe distance. Now, holding it a little bit more in there. You might notice that the hot glass looks just like cool glass. It's not really glowing red. But now, if I hold this up to the camera, you might be able to notice that the end of that piece of glass is a little bit smoother now. I've smoothed it out. Now, of course, you don't want to touch that. Okay, Don't ever touch hot glass. It takes several minutes for hot glass to cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down on the wire gauze over here and allow it to cool. And then you know, about 10 minutes later, I can pick up the other end and fire polish the other end of this. Now, I'd like to show you how to bend glass. Here I have a longer piece of glass and we're going to bend this. So in order to bend it, I want to hold it so that it's right in the, so that the, the center part of that is in the hottest part of the flame. So in case you've forgotten, the hottest part of the flame is the very peak of that inner cone. So I'm going to hold it right on top there, not too low, and just twirl it around between my thumb and forefinger. And after a few seconds of doing this, I'm going to notice that the glass tends to lose a little bit of resistance and when that happens I can bend that glass into any shape I want to. And so I've just bent it into a, a right angle just to show you how simple it is to do that. After a couple of seconds it's firmed up again and I can't bend it anymore but this is how you bend glass. Now of course don't touch that because that glass is very hot. It's going to take about 10 minutes for it to cool. So once again, I'm going to set this down on the wire gauze to allow that to cool. Now 
10 minutes have passed and now it's time to fire polish the other end. So I feel a little bit better in holding this up to the camera so you can see how nice and smooth that is. So if I run my finger over this I can tell it's, it's really smooth now. The other side still hasn't been smoothed out so I'm going to fire polish this once again. Fire polish this opposite end holding it at about a 45 degree angle just twirling it around between my thumb and forefinger in the flame. And it doesn't take very long for this to happen. When you're finished bending and cutting and fire polishing your glass, you can turn off the Bunsen burner flame right here at the jet. And that's it. That's how to fire polish glass and bend glass using a Bunsen burner, or sometimes as we call it, a Turil burner. Well, if you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you again on my channel where we can learn some more chemistry together.